In this video, we will discuss about the parietal bone. The parietal bone is situated between several other bones within the skull as follows. At its rear, it is adjacent to the occipital bone. Towards the front, it meets the frontal bone. On the lower side, it meets the sphenoidal bone. On the side, it connects with the temporal bones. Each of these bones surrounds the parietal bone, forming the complex structure of the skull, which houses and protects the brain, the internal surface of the parietal bone. Upon examining its internal surface, we can observe that this is the portion of the parietal bone oriented towards the brain. Notably, a series of grooves present themselves here, including those accommodating arteries, particularly the middle meningeal artery, known as the groove of middle meningeal artery. Flipping over to the external surface of the parietal bone, we can observe that this is the part that faces the scalp. It's here that we notice a curved demarcation line. This is known as the superior temporal line. In parallel, the inferior temporal line emerges, offering a foundation for a muscle. Near the central region of the external surface, a projection named the parietal tuber or parietal eminence is located. Transitioning to the borders of the parietal bone, several distinct margins are identifiable. The occipital border is adjacent to the occipital bone. Inferiorly, the squamosal border extends its inferior margin to articulate with the temporal bone. Upwards, the sagittal border outlines the superior margin, articulating with the opposing parietal bone. The frontal border appears as the anterior margin, articulating seamlessly with the frontal bone. Exploring the angles of the parietal bone provides insight into its articulation with adjacent bones. The frontal angle, marking the anterior superior corner, articulates with the frontal bone. The occipital angle at the posterior superior corner interfaces with the occipital bone. The sphenoidal angle, found at the anterior inferior corner, aligns with the greater wing of the sphenoid bone. Lastly, the mastoid angle at the posterior inferior corner articulates with the mastoid portion of the temporal bone. A feature, acting as a channel, known as the parietal foramen, is often found in the posterior superior segment of the parietal bone. If you like the 3D models displayed in this presentation, download the app 3D Osteology today on the App Store, an anatomy exploration you do not want to miss. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.